Okay, guys, welcome to Kingfisher's uh, Trace Clinic. Today I'm going to show you how to do the simplest trace possible for catching tuna queenfish. Very simply, what we require? FC fluorocarbon, 60 pound, obviously, if it's for tuna. And if you're going for queen fish, a lighter one, 50 pound, and so on. Okay, we're using five extra strong, and this is size two, five extra strongs, just for demonstration purposes. Um, our power swivel, number four. Mustard side uh, scissors. Uh, very, very nice, very easy to work with. Okay, first of all, we need about 1.2 meters of FC fluorocarbon to do the trace. We take our power swivel, insert it uh, through the eye. Let me just put it on this side for us. And all we're gonna do is a figure of eight. And how we do it is we just basically take our swivel, pinch it with our forefinger and thumb, and we go around three times. One, two, three times, very quick and simple. Open it up. Then you can see our figure of eight, lubricate, slide down, and obviously pull tight. Cut off the tag end, like that. So basically 1.2 meters in length, we take our mustard 9430DS Durasteel, silver in color, and the reason we use the silver ones is we're using mozzies as bait. So preferably silver hook, silver bait. Um, all we're going to do now is do the figure of eight, attach it to our treble hook. So again, all we're going to do, open it up, take this hand, make sure you don't poke yourself. There's three hooks involved in this, three points. Uh, give yourself a bit to work with and go around one, two, three times to form our figure of eight. Open it up. There's your figure of eight. Take your two fingers, insert it so you don't actually hurt yourself. Lubricate, and what we're doing is actually pulling the knot tight. We're not pulling on the actual treble hook. Very important, you don't want to get those trebles in your finger. There we go, I've pulled the knot tight, lubricate, and we just slide it down to where the treble hook actually is. Okay, simple as that. The nice part about this new FC fluorocarbon is it ties a perfect knot, it doesn't come undone. That's the nice part about this new FC fluorocarbon. Now, just to make sure that your knot is tight, what we do is we just take our um, number four power swivel, and this is the easiest way to pull that knot tight. Like that, keeping your hands away, nothing can slip, and you're good to go. Slide that down, okay, so there we go, guys. There is our treble hook with our fluorocarbon and our power swivel, size four. To insert it, into our moss bunker. Okay, so we just take one of our uh, toothpicks. There we go, grab one of our toothpicks. Insert it behind the head, and you're running it under the skin, guys, under the skin like that. Cut off the toothpick, once you've done about two centimeters, and just push it in. So now the toothpick is now underneath the actual um, moss bunker. You're now gonna take your treble hook and either you can insert two or one. I just do one these days because of the toothpick that's there. Just so much easier. And you're gonna go as close to where that toothpick was. And you come out as quickly as you can. There we go. You don't wanna go too deep into the actual moss bunker's flesh. Um, obviously you don't want to kill him, so try and keep him as live as possible, and that's pretty much how it is. Your moss bunker can swim around, go crazy, do what he wants. The tuna inhales him, and of course you've got a treble hook there. Um, you can see here when I'm pulling, how hard it actually is to take that toothpick out. And you pull against it. Okay, that's why we put the toothpick in, so that the moss bunker can't pull loose. A lot of times you'll be trawling at uh, a reasonable speed because you're pulling other baits with it and all of a sudden you've got no moss bunker left. 
because the hook is actually torn out of it. So the toothpick is there to stop your treble hook from pulling out, especially when you're using small trebles and that. It's very easy to tear out of a fish. Yeah. Okay guys, just another way of actually rigging your, your live bait for tuna queen fish. Uh, more for tuna on FOSS trawl. Um, you're going from one spot to another spot paddling and you want to get there quickly. Uh, just to show you how to rig it so that the hooks don't tear out. Okay, so your five extra strong treble. All you need to do is insert it. There's a nose cavity in your moss bunker. Straight through there and you come out. Okay, so there very simply, that's a quick and easy way to rig your mozzie if you're trawling very fast from one area to another area or if you're on a boat and you want to move. Um, it won't tear out. Uh, if anything, your, your mozzie ends up bouncing on the surface. So that's how we do it if you're doing with the treble hook. Just take it out there quickly. Guys, just another way of rigging your moss bunker. If you're moving from one spot to another spot with your double hook, um, you insert your 3.0 hoodlum through the nose cavity of the actual uh, mozzie, like so. That part there gives you all the, the movement that you want as well by having that little uh, knot there. And yeah, you can move quite quickly, you can bounce this mozzie on the surface if you're going from one spot to another spot. The tuna love a bouncing bait, it looks like it's trying to get away. So yeah, if you're paddling, chasing the, the dolphins and that, you can leave your mozzie attached and paddle as fast as you want to catch up and throw your popper at a shoal of dolphins. That's how you do it. Just to go chasing dolphins, dorado, um, anything basically, tuna, rig your bait through the nose like that and even if it's bouncing on the surface, jumping out the water, it doesn't make a difference. The tuna will find it, the dorado love it, queen fish will eat it. That's just a very quick, easy way of doing it and it won't pull off. It won't pull out, guys. Very quick and easy. Simple double hook trace, good to go. Enjoy.